Today we are going to walk through the installation process of the on-premise Tenable Web Application Scanner. Let's cover some key requirements before we get started. You will need to be on Tenable SC 6.2 or greater, Nessus 10.6.1 or greater, and have access to the Docker engine to install the Web Application Scanner on a Nessus host machine. Assuming you already have a Nessus scanner and Tenable SC installed, you will need to install the Docker engine on your Nessus host. This can be done via download from the Docker website or through the appropriate command line entries, depending on your operating system. Refer to the Docker documentation for your operating system's command line entries. The Tenable documentation outlines the command line entries for Red Hat or CentOS-based installations. After Docker is successfully installed, ensure Docker and Nessus are running by issuing the appropriate commands for your operating system. Retrieve your Tenable SC key with WAS activation from your customer portal. Apply your Tenable SC license and Nessus activation code in the Tenable SC as an administrator and wait for the WAS plugin update to complete. The WAS plugins can be viewed in the plugin slash feed page under configurations. Once the WAS plugins are updated, add the Nessus scanner to your Tenable SC instance under the Resources tab. Fill out the appropriate fields and toggle the Web App Scanning Capable toggle to On. The Nessus scanner will now receive updated plugins from Tenable SC, which can take up to 30 minutes depending on the resources of your Nessus scanner. In the background, after receiving the WAS activated license, Nessus should be installing the WAS container. Once the status changes to working, it will be ready to use. This is also a good time to set up a separate repository for the web application results. Under Repositories, add a repository and select Universal. Fill out the appropriate fields. Log in as a security manager and verify Web App Scans is available under the Scans menu. You can also check the scan policy to ensure that Web App Templates are available. <laughs> 